What's going on YouTube? I hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day. I decided to do this intro outside because it is just such a nice day outside guys. I'm actually going fishing with a veteran today. It is Veterans Day the day this video will be posted. So for all the veterans watching my videos, I really appreciate what you guys are doing for the country. I would not be able to have a YouTube channel, have the freedom to do what I want every single day if it wasn't for you guys. Uh, and girls, I really appreciate you guys. If you're watching my video, huge shout out to you guys. But today is day 15 of my 60 day fishing video challenge. So I decided since we have a little anniversary here, we're one fourth of the way through that I go ahead and do my top big bass catches. And I've been doing YouTube for about a year now. Really only been serious like these past few weeks, but I have caught some big bass along the way that I'd love to show you guys. So I'm gonna kinda do like this video. I'm gonna explain a clip before the big bass plays. All that good stuff, guys. But with all that said, I don't think I should keep on talking. I think that you guys wanna see the big old bass. So we're gonna go do that. I'm gonna go inside and we are gonna go watch some big old bass clips featuring your boy fishing with norm subscribe all that good stuff guys i will see you there oh my guys oh. Yes. alrighty guys before the video starts i just want to let you guys know that the longer this video goes on the bigger the bass get, believe it or not. And we started out with an eight pound, 12 ounce bass and they keep on getting bigger. But besides that guys, comment down below what your biggest bass is. I wanna see if you guys are catching bigger bass than I am. And also I wanna know what you guys caught that bass on. But anyways guys, enjoy the video. Alrighty folks, we are here at the desk. I hate sitting here, but we gotta do it if we're doing videos every single day. Can't go catch fish every day, even though I'm probably the best fisherman there is. I cannot catch fish every day. That's one thing I cannot do. So we're sitting here at the desk. I got all the big bass kind of put into the editing software. And it's actually kind of cool because I've been doing YouTube for about a year. Going back and watching these clips, just seeing how much I've progressed in editing and not being as cringy. I know my videos are still really cringy, but they used to be even worse than they are right now. So that's kind of cool going back. I'm going to shoot you guys through this little time capsule here. This first clip is the first trophy bass I've ever caught in my life. And trophy bass here in Florida, I think is eight pounds plus. This bass was eight pounds, 12 ounces. Funny enough, the line I was using to catch this bass was only eight pounds. It was my jerkbait combo, which is like an extremely light combo with light line. And it was my first time ever throwing a multi-jointed swim bait. Back in the day, I used to get lucky tackle boxes. I do not anymore, but I had a multi-jointed swim bait in there. I decided to throw it on to my eight pound test for whatever dumb reason. My first ever bite on a multi-jointed swim bait is this fish that was eight pounds, 12 ounces. I hope you guys enjoy this clip. I got a fish. I got a fish, it's a nice one. It's a nice one, dude. Evan, Evan. You're gonna have to love this one, dude. Please don't come up. Oh, oh my god, this is my this is my PB. This is my PB. Evan, get down. Evan, get down. Seriously, Evan. Get no, like. Like you're gonna have to grab this thing. Oh my god. Click the record button on that GoPro over there, Evan. This is my PB. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is the biggest fish I've ever caught. Is it recording? Yeah, it's recording. <laughs> Oh my God, this is the biggest fish of my life, dude. I'm not even joking. Get, the, get that line up. Whose line is that in the water? Dude, holy crap, holy crap, holy crap, holy crap. Oh, don't, holy crap, holy crap. Oh, oh my God, <laughs> on the swim bait, baby, <laughs> on the swim bait. Let me grab that thing. Oh my God. Dude, I've had, I've had a seven pounder before. This thing's gotta be, dude, dude, <laughs> he's, bam, baby, woo. All right, guys, here he is. Don't know how big he is. Trying to figure out if we can get a scale or not. Um. I don't know, definitely my personal best bass, so I want to get a weight on him. Alrighty guys, so this next clip is actually a lot more recent. This was actually my only bite of the day, but it was a big nine pound fish. But <laughs> when I was reeling in this fish, I was using a big swim bait, 
we have an anchor out because it's extremely windy outside. We have the anchor down that way our boat just isn't going. When I hook into this fish, this fish manages to wrap itself around the anchor line. It was a huge anxiety attack. We end up landing the fish, guys, but I hope you enjoy this clip. Oh, oh. Got one. Doesn't feel too big. First swim bait fish. Oh, he's nice. He's really nice. He's nice, dude. Dude, he's really nice. Real of your thing. Sheepers, oh. Mason. Oh great, he's on yeah, he's wrapped around the anchor. He's literally wrapped. Is he off? No, he's not. He literally gets he's wrapped around the anchor right now. Can you get him? Yeah. Guys, he's wrapped around the anchor line. He's pulling, I can How big is he? He's big. Oh my. Oh dude. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Grab him, grab him, grab him. <laughs> that's a toad. That's a that's a swanch, dude. That is a hippo. My only bite of the day. My only bite of the day. What a beautiful fish. And we got the scale. So we're gonna go ahead and give him away. Oh my my arm's cramping up. <laughs> Going for the way guys. I really am praying that my GoPro was on when I reeled this thing in. Awesome kilograms. What does it say? Nine, nine, two. Two. nine two. Yeah. Absolute slaunch guys, just beautiful fish. The wind picked up, the bite picked up guys. We're gonna go ahead and get back into it. Absolutely beautiful fish. We're gonna go ahead and let her go. Alrighty, so this clip is a little bit more recent, kind of this past summer. I actually went to ICAST, talked with the guy who invented the Spro Rat, the Spro Swim Baits, all that stuff, the guy who was in charge for designing those, and he had this new little itty bitty small rat that has yet to be on the market to this date, which is November 2017. So I have my hands on this little rat, I decided to go out to my favorite lake to catch a big fish and throw it, and this is what happens second cast. Oh, there we go, dude. He's fighting nice, guys. Oh, that's a nice one, dude. Oh, oh, on the rat. My first fish on the rat. Oh, he's barely hooked. Oh, my God. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him, grab him, grab him. I don't care if you get trouble hooked, dude. I'll take you to the hospital. Grab him. Oh, yes. Crap. On the spro. Oh, oh, my. Oh, oh. All right, guys, here he is, has a stomach. The first fish I've ever caught on the Spro BBZ-1 25 rat, gray color with a pink tail. Oh my God. The flex in there, I'm joking, guys. Oh my God, what? Alrighty, folks, so the same exact day I caught that big fish on the rat, maybe three casts later, I catch a fish on this live target swim bait on the clip you guys are about to see. At ICAST, I also talked with live target. They gave me uh, a ton of swim baits. So I decided to go out, kind of try to make a video for them, shoot it over their way, and maybe third cast, guys. My first ever live target swim bait fish was this fish right here. Something was munching on it. Oh, oh. Oh. He's on, dude. Oh, 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 it's another big one. I see it. Oh, gosh, guys. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm not going to try to let him jump. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, he's taking me for a run, dude. Oh, on the live target, on the live target. Oh, my. I've never had a bass fight this hard before. 
Yeah, he's stripping drag, dude. Oh, he's all the way out there. What the heck? Oh, oh my God. He's running. Dude, dude. Oh, he's about to, don't jump. Oh, this is the biggest fish of my life. This is the biggest fish of my life. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, my second cast on the live target swim bait. Oh, come on, come on, baby. Come on, get to me. Come to me. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Come on, baby. Come here. Come here. It's okay. It's okay. He's barely hooked. Oh, he's always oh, he's so heavy, dude. He's so heavy. Oh my, guys. Oh, he's been chewed on too. Look at his tail. I think your last one was bigger than that. No, this one feels, this one's skinnier, but he feels heavier. Holy crap. Dude. All right, guys, here he goes. Alrighty guys, this one is probably like my favorite bass catch of all time. Me and my buddy Will are in a canoe, kind of headed back in. He, as you can see in the clip, he's actually paddling. I was just throwing the crankbait because I never want to leave the lake. So on our way in, I ended up catching this 9 pound, 11 ounce bass, which was, it, it almost flipped the canoe and you guys cannot tell in the clip, like it does not look like it, but the way it fell, I thought we were all going in the water when I hooked in that fish. Also in this clip, my audio was all messed up because I recorded like a paintball match like the day before and there was paint in my audio port. So paint was blocking audio from getting into my camera. So that was a huge mess. It's just like, just a crazy messy fish catch that made absolutely no sense, but it was just awesome. And that's kind of like who I am. I'm fishing the norm, just stuff does not make sense here. So this fish catch actually makes a lot of sense now that you think about it. I just mess with your mind there a little bit, but <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy this clip. Those two other fish were fighting like, normally crankbait fish will just... Oh, big in, big in, big in, net. Oh, big in. Oh, stay pinned, stay pinned. I think he's, I think he's huge. Oh, big in, big in, big in, big in, big in. Am I, and I'm recording. Oh, thank God I picked up the crankbait. First cast on the crankbait. Oh, crap. I'm trying to keep him out of the pads. You got to net him, dude. Oh, my God. Put him in the net, put him in the net, put him in the net. All right, let's not flip the canoe. Oh, shiz. Oh, God. We, we're about to flip, dude. Here, here. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Oh! That thing is so heavy. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Dude! Oh. Oh. Dude. <laughs> Holy. Holy. Oh. What? My bejeebus. What? Oh no, oh no. Look at the fucking mouth. And we have a scale, dude. It says 9-11. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, guys. 9 pounds, 11 ounces. I got a scale this time. How do you, how do you guys like that? Look, by a scale, your fish aren't 9 pounds. <laughs> Oh, we almost flipped. Like, no, no joke, while I was running that fish, Will went to go net him. And uh, we were about done, so I'm going to revive this fish for a little bit and let him go. Careless smoking could kill you and your family.
Alrighty guys, this clip right here, you guys are always asking me what my PB bass is. This is the second to last clip I'm gonna show you guys. The last clip is my official PB. This one I think is bigger, but I do not know. So I think this one's a 10 plus pounder. I was out on the lake by myself, no scale, of course, throwing a big swim bait, and then this happened. All right, so as you guys can see, I don't know if you can see from that camera, um, but right now I'm working the edge of this hydrilla patch. That feels like a really nice fish. Oh yeah, it's, this is the biggest fish of the day by far. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's tugging. He's wrapping himself up in that hydrilla, guys. This might be bigger than five pounds. Oh no. I think he got off. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh my gosh, he freaking railed it. Yeah, I don't feel him anymore. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, no. Oh no, I think I just felt him. Oh, he's still on there. He's not that big. Oh, yeah, he is. Oh, yeah, he is. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh, guys. Oh, my gosh. Gosh, this might be my PB. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. And I don't... I left my scale at the house. All right, what I want you guys to do is tell me how big you think this fish is because I forgot my scale. Absolute toad. Got a stomach on him. Alrighty, folks, this is my official personal best bass. Nine pounds, 14 ounces. I think I've caught some bigger ones, but I just never have the scale on me. This is my personal best with the scale. Nine pounds, 14 ounces. Also, before I play this clip, I just want to let you guys know that there are a ton of big bass on my channel. Maybe I didn't catch them. These are only fish that I've caught, but a lot of my friends that are on the boat with me catch even bigger fish than I do. So, if you guys want to check those out, make sure to subscribe. Check the channel. There's more big bass coming, of course. But I'm going to go ahead and get into this last clip, guys. Now, 9 pound, 14 ouncer on a spook, topwater, the walking paycheck. My to the date, November 2017. Biggest bass, I hope you guys enjoy. So uh, me and Hunter are gonna duel it out right here. But normally there's fish here like crazy and I just tried tying on a weighted speed worm. But uh, ooh, did you, that was a, I think that was a nice fish. I saw him waking all the way from one side to the other. But in the, anyways, I tried tying on a weighted trick worm but all the bullet weights I have, I can't fit my line through because the holes are extremely small and another one just missed it. So, uh, yeah, it's a little sad, but I'm slowly getting over it. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. Hunter, can you grab him for me? That's my that's my biggest fish I've ever caught in my life. Did you see that thing wake towards it? Oh my gosh. Lucky tackle box. If you catch me my, another PB, I'm going to start crying. I will cry on camera. Oh my God. I, why do I talk like that? I'm going to look it back on this and be like, wow, Luke, you're an idiot. It's not even that big of a... <laughs> Alright, I'm going to try to keep him out of here. Oh my god. I could see that thing waking from it a mile away. Oh, oh I want that polar pop. Here, don't grab the line. Oh my god. I, I, I swear I thought what I had. I don't know if he's still on. You see him? Yeah. Oh my god, my heart's racing. I'm trying to bring him in slow. Yes! There we go! Did he choke it? Oh my gosh, that is a fat fish, guys. Ugh. Oh, look at that. He choked it. Alright guys, just got my PB. Here he is, absolute monster. We're about to go ahead and let him go. Thank you. 
Alrighty guys, that is gonna do it for today's video. I wanna know what your personal best bass is, so leave it down below in the comment section what you caught it on, all that good stuff. Also let me know which bass catch was your favorite. But anyways guys, that concludes day 15 of the 60 day video challenge. Make sure to leave me ideas down below. Subscribe to join the NARMY and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Thank you.